Today I'd like to talk about uh, drawing as thinking and uh, it's quite exasperating sometimes because when I ask students to do more drawing in their sketchbook or something they often say, well I, I really can't draw. I said anyone that can grab a pencil uh, can put pencil to paper and draw but they often, because they think they can't draw photorealistically like uh, Leonardo da Vinci or something, that they can't draw. So here I'm drawing uh, my dog Roca with my foot and uh, sort of has a different line quality than perhaps if I were drawing with my hand. M maybe in some ways it's even more interesting. Okay, one of the wonderful things about art is uh, its ambiguity and how you can have multiple readings and things. And in countless drawing books you'll see an example of something that's two things at once. And uh, so this obviously could be uh, a, a duck and here are the two uh, uh, bills on the duck and here's the duck's eye. Or it could be a rabbit with two ears. So here are the ears and here's the eye of the rabbit. So sometimes uh, objects can be read in multiple ways. So once I was in the uh, Museum of uh, Art in Jerusalem and I was walking through all these antiquities and I remember coming across this ancient stone door and I saw these two posts and these lintels and it dawned on me, someone invented the square and uh, probably 9,000 years ago. And uh, so, you know, initially it was just these two posts and a lintel, but I realized, you know, it's a square. And then being a potter, you know, I, I deal with a circle, and the circle, I thought, God, it's eternal. Our eyes are round, the moon's round, the sun's round, the bird makes its nest round. And so here we had this, this idea of the relationship between the circle and the square and the infinite possibilities in terms of those two things in relationship to each other. One of the things I love also about drawing is it's so revealing of the process and it's such a physical, direct exercise. So here I'm sticking my finger frequently to create this circle of dots. But if I only dip once, it slowly fades. And I love that sense of the gradation. Even the swipe of something like that creates motion or is a sort of the residue of motion that can be quite expressive. And in many art books, you'll see this example of these two drawings. And one is called Kikiba, and the other one is a Wuba. So Kikiba sounds harsh and jagged, and this is Kikiba, and a Wuba sounds soft and soothing. So line quality has you know, infinite iterations in terms of its expression. So just the orientations of lines can have many meanings and connotations. Like the horizontal line could be the horizon line. The Native American Indians thought of it something in the future. Uh, you'd w try and walk to the horizon line, but it was always in front of you. It was always something that was going to happen later. And then the, the vertical line is something that defies gravity. It's, it's sort of obviously up and down, connects the heavens and earth, uh, like the tree grows out of the ground. So there's a real sense of energy, uh, almost a dualistic thing that happens with the uh, vertical line. And then the diagonal line is so much about motion or direction, like something being thrown, like a football or spear or something. Oftentimes there's even sort of this arrow of going this way. So all these lines have very, very different connotations and meanings to them, just simply because of their orientation. Sometimes I like to challenge myself and just see how many different drawings I can come up with of different types of cups. And just keep going and going until I fill up with pages. And that's one of the wonderful things with drawing is there's infinite possibilities. So in closing, drawing is like a, a recording stream of consciousness. And there's infinite possibilities and you can always come up with ideas through drawing. Thank you for your time. Do that. You want to do the individual clips and just go boom, boom, boom? That's, I think, how I want to do it. Okay. I think maybe if... Uh, how can I lead into that? Let me just look at them. I won't show yeah, them. Yeah.